and the Debritic Channel is back, and today we are talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and there is some troubling news coming out. As we grow really close to the end of the water year, they are not releasing the minimum required down to Lake Mead from Lake Powell, and furthermore, Lake Mead's not releasing enough water down to Mojave and Havasu, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here shortly. But before we do that, please consider giving this a thumbs up and a like. It would really help the algorithm push this video out out to the masses so they can see this as we inch towards the water year there's a lot of questions that i've been wondering about and maybe you guys have as well as we roll out to lake powell's graph this is this year's the blue and the white was last year you can see last year was a little bit higher than this year the water level is 3529.61 feet the level is 170.39 feet below full pool of 3700 your inflows versus your outflows your inflows are currently 8628 your outflows are currently 9190 you have more water going out than what you have coming in changes since yesterday the lake's down 0.03 changes in the last 14 the lake's down 0.04 lake powell is down 16.22 feet from one year ago lake powell is up 7.37 feet since the water low so when the water was at its lowest this year the lake has actually come up 7.37 feet your storage acre feet is currently 5,813,982 percentage of capacity is currently 23.90 percent of capacity there are currently 1,894,494,000,000 2880 gallons of water in Lake Powell and this is what I'm talking about 92.39% of the minimum required is what they have released so far they are currently 7.61% away from releasing the total required minimum and then we go to your total releases so far your total releases so far are 6,929,375 the problem here is they have to release 7,500,000 acre feet by September 30th they're only at 92.39% so they are a long way from the 7,500,000 total required required means they have to release this water and if they don't i'm not sure what will happen i don't know if they like get fined or what happens but they are a long way from releasing that much and they've been reluctant to because they're worried about running out of water and when i get out there in october the middle of october i will be drilling them asking them why they didn't release the 7 million 500 and i'm hoping to get that on video for you all so stay tuned for that i got about 18 more days before i head out that way and i will be out there monday the 17th so be looking for that around tuesday or so and hopefully i get the answers that i'm looking for we will see now we go down to lake mead and we will check out those numbers now as we're looking at lake mead's graph like we did at lake pal the white is 2021 the blue is 2020 you can see that the lake has actually been on the increase which is a great great news it's not going to fill up but at least we're getting some some inflows between rains and inflows from Lake Powell, but pretty typical if I show you the pen here, usually you can see right in here that usually they get a bump. If you look further back, there's a bump that goes way up here, and you can see that this thing is starting to rise gradually as it usually gets to the low around July and August. It's pretty typical that time of year. Now, you can see that last year it never really came up. It did a little bit in late October, middle of October, but not a whole lot. Lot. and then it started to go down and then it then it went up very little as you can see here at the beginning of the year it came up quite a bit before it gradually started to go down and this here it was just all free fall so these last few days of it coming up has been fantastic so your storage acre feet is currently 7,325,000 and that's your storage acre feet today's level is 1045.12 feet and 
The level is 183.88 feet below full pool of 1,229. And this is what I was talking about. Lake Mead's currently at 95.50%. So they got 4.5% to go. And you can see their releases so far have been 8,844,062. They are more close to the 9 million required they're not releasing what they're supposed to up river and it makes you wonder what's going on with that and why they're not doing that but they are required to release 9 million which in my opinion should be like 7 million and the lake would be a lot better off if they would have been doing that from the word go but they didn't so this is what we got and this is why the lake is down so far Lake Mead one year ago was at 22.56 feet. Two years ago, it was 38.25 feet higher. An active pool is 95.12 feet away, and Deadpool is 150.12 feet away from Deadpool. Your inflows for Lake Mead are currently 12,042. Your outflows are only 8,890, and I'm not sure if they're going to make it to the minimum required. We will see what happens. I'm really curious what's going on there. Lake Mead is up 0.97 feet in the last 14 days. Lake Mead is up 0.04 in the last 24 hours. Lake Mead is up 4.40 feet from the water low. Lake Mead is down 22.5 feet in the last year. And the percentage of capacity is currently 28.31%. As we roll down to Lake Havasu for our final stop this evening, Havasu is 448.01 feet. The level is 3.01 feet below full pool of 445. And Lake Havasu is also 92.46% of full pool. And your total releases so far have been 6,196,393. And your total release last year were 6,3 395,841. Your inflows at Lake Mead are currently 11,300 and your outflows are currently 8,120. Lake Havasu is down 0.92 in the last 14 ratings. Lake Havasu is up 0.11 in the last 24 hours. Lake Havasu is currently 90.047% of capacity. And your current storage acre feet is 560,400. And the final stop tonight is we roll out to the percentage of capacities for all the lakes. I did this and I will be back on Friday or Saturday with a Colorado River water year closing. So this is the Colorado River Lake percentages. As we roll out to the Flaming Gorge, it's currently 70.83% of capacity. Blue Mesa's 35.67% of capacity. Lake Navajo's 51.50% of capacity. Strawberry 72.51% of capacity. McFeast 48.54% of capacity. Lake Powell's 23.90% of capacity. Lake Mead is 28.31% of capacity. Mojave's 89.03% of capacity. Lake Havasu's 90.47% of capacity. And your grand total today is 33.96% of capacity. Thank you guys for stopping by and enjoying the program tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And we will see you Friday or Saturday, depending on what day I can actually get away and do it. I have been really busy lately, and I apologize for no videos lately, as I've just been super slammed with stuff we are harvesting here. We have apples coming out of our ears, tomatoes, and corn, and wow, it's just been really, really busy. I hope all is well with everybody. I really miss everybody, and I hope to be back more now that we are getting caught up on things finally, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.